Nemal Rocky, head coach of the senior Indian women's team. At present, I'm with SAG, Sports Authority of Goa, as a football coach. It was in late 1999, I went for the football trials for the school, school state team. And yeah, I was selected for the first go and uh, I was called for the state camp. Then my coach taught me how to play football because I was athlete before and I learned from there and I went to play the states, I went to play the, for the national team, uh, got interest in coaching. There were one ball and 100 players, but there were like only one girl and that's me in my locality. Uh, it was difficult because uh, my mother, she was, uh, she didn't like our oh, football and you are the only girl child playing with all these boys around this, you know, around your locality. I had long hair, I cut my hair that short and then I made it like short like boys because I was around with boys. So my mom had no problem after that. <laughs> At present I'm with the senior women's team as a head coach. That's the highest, you know, what we everybody can look, like, uh, look up on for. And I was the first female to coach this team because it was always coached by a men's team, the women's team. The girls are quite supportive to the at least for me, when I, they were quite open, let it be any problems, let it be any good things, let it be anything. They should come and share it to me if they had any problems. But I remember earlier, like when we were playing, we were scared, you know, to talk to Sir. Oh my God, it's the, like the coach. Let's not talk to him. And but now the players just go, Hi, ma'am, and how it's, it's the culture has changed and things. Are, and how, as a head coach, how comfortable you keep the players. In Goa, as soon as the thing started in March, it, everything is shut down till date. Uh, but with the national team, I was so, so lucky. We traveled to Turkey in March. In April 1st to 10th, we returned back to Goa. We went to Uzbekistan. We played five international friendlies uh, there and we traveled back. As soon as we reached home, uh, on the 10th, I reached home, April 10th. My players all reached on the 11th because they traveled all over. On the 15th, 19th, slowly the lockdown started and from there it's complete lockdown. In Goa, the field, if you see, you'll come to know the lockdown effect, you can see around. Plus, you, the players are not allowed, families have been, you know, taking, if, if it was my child also, I would not have allowed my child to go out and play. Everything was stopped, but uh, nevertheless, we are just hoping by August everything opens up, especially sports. But it's like a compulsion. The coach needs to be vaccinated and uh, the players also, if you have, you know, above 18 players needs to be vaccinated. And, but hopefully by August, we look forward for that. The first thing what I want to say is like, football is in blood of people in Goa. Like, Goans are crazy about football. So if you see, as soon as the Kandalim field was open for vaccination, there was a crowd more than what was in the, you know, centers of Panchayat. So I think, yes, everybody, if I was also given an opportunity, if there's a vaccination on, on the football pitch and in a center, I would have gone to the football pitch, for sure. More of tournaments happening for the girls around, that is lacking in Goa, I believe. More of tournaments, because GFA can organize one tournament, so it's not GFA who has to be being blamed. Like if, if any corporates or any clubs or any teams who can organize small tournaments, it should not be 11 v 11 tournament, maybe a 5 v 5 tournament or 9 v 9 tournament or 7 v 7 tournament, where girls get more opportunities to play. And I think there it's how the interest of parents also will go and they'll say, oh yeah, my girl, you know, today is there is a tournament. So parents take more interest in that. So space is there, it's only about, you know, lack of awareness and lack of, parents being educated why sports why the child has to take up sport or you know why a child has to take up uh, come to the ground and it's not about the child will be a sports person or will be a good footballer it's all about health and how a child can be away from diseases computers phones so that is one thing where parents also should be educated i think